Hi, I'm Dr. Alicia Spittle. I'm a physical therapist and I'm lucky to work clinically at the Royal Women's Hospital in Melbourne and also do research at the University of Melbourne. Today we're going to talk about early diagnosis and early detection of cerebral palsy. Cerebral palsy is primarily a motor impairment, so it's really important to look at what their motor function is. Are they developing on the trajectory of a child who has cerebral palsy, or are they developing as we would expect a baby to develop? Unfortunately, there's not one assessment tool that we can use from birth up until two years. We need to use the right assessment tool depending on the age of your baby. One of the best assessment tools that we can use early in development is a general movements assessment and this can be done up until around 20 weeks of age. The general movements assessment is a really easy assessment where we stop and look at how your baby is moving, lying on their back without any stimulation. Another assessment that we can do in the first few months of life is the TIMP, which is a test of infant motor performance. This assessment tool allows us to look at how your baby is moving on their back, how they're starting to roll, what they're doing on their tummy, how they're going in sitting, and we put them in standing to see how much weight they can take through their legs. And what we can do with this information is compare how your baby is developing compared to other babies who have had the assessment at the same time point. As your baby gets a little older, there's a wonderful assessment tool called the HINE, which is the Hammersmith Infant Neurological Exam, where we look again at how your baby is moving, but also have a feel of what they're doing, have a feel of their muscle tone, and it's a really enjoyable assessment for your baby to do. Another assessment tool is the Alberta Infant Motor Scale, but if we're concerned about them having cerebral palsy, it's really important that we actually do an assessment like the HINE, where we put our hands on your baby and have a feel of what their muscles are doing. As your baby gets older, it's important that we not only look at their motor skills, but look at their social skills and their language and thinking skills. And one assessment that we can use to do this is the DACI, which is a development assessment of young children. As a parent, if you're worried that your baby has cerebral palsy, it's really important that you understand where your baby is at in terms of their development and that we intervene early so that we can get the best outcomes for your baby.